If you're someone who is motivated by color, you might like to see a rainbow on your calendar. However, many people don't know how to do this in Google Calendar. It can be a great tool for organizing and quickly glancing to see how the balance of your week is going. I'll show you how to color code your Google Calendar today on Tuesday Tech Training. Hello and welcome to Tuesday Tech Training. My name is Jennifer Stewart. I'm the owner of Gateway Productivity and I'm a tech and productivity trainer. Today, I want to show you how to color code your Google Calendar. And there are actually a couple different ways you can do this. You can either color code each item in your calendar, each event, or you can have several different calendars of different colors that you can merge and unmerge as you want. There are multiple different reasons you might want to color code your calendar. If you're motivated by color like I am, you might enjoy seeing a rainbow of colors on your calendar, and that also then reflects that it's a fairly balanced calendar. You have a lot of things going on. Or you might use color coding on your calendar just for a few specific things so that you can see when the most important meetings are coming or making sure that you have enough clients or enough sales. And if you choose to use multiple calendars, you might color code those calendars and turn them on and off depending on whether this is a work item or a personal item, or maybe you have a calendar for an entire project, and those each can be different colors so that they stand out in your calendar. Now that you have an idea of why you might want to color code your calendar, let's look at how to do it. Here we're looking at a typical Google Calendar. On the left-hand side, you can see I do have an extra calendar in there. We won't worry about that one, but you can see that my calendar, this is my name, so that's my calendar, is a specific color. So to change the color of my entire calendar, I could go here and change the color. Again, what I did was I hovered over my name or whatever your main calendar is called, clicked on the three dots, and then there are all of your color options. So that's how to change the color of the entire calendar. But what if you just want to color code certain things within your calendar? We can do that by going to the individual events. So the first thing you wanna think about before doing this is what colors mean what to you. As you can see, when I go here, and I choose colors, I can't assign a meaning to a color from here. All I can do is just select the color. So you wanna choose things that make sense to you. Maybe clients or sales could be green for money. You might have personal things that could be a yellow that makes you happy or a blue or a purple, whatever that color is for you. We inherently have meanings tied to color, but everybody's a little bit different in that. So you want to think about what colors would you like to see for different things. I will go with some of the standard colors that I use since I'm used to them. My personal items I like to put in purple. So for instance, this date night, I could edit this and go here and change this to purple. You can see the events have a little less color options than the calendars themselves. So you wanna watch that. So these are your event colors. Looks like we have 11 total color options. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. This is my personal item. And then I could go to each of my personal items and make that change. One little trick, if you don't want to dive all the way into an event, you can right click on it and choose your color that way. That's a real quick way to either delete or change a color. And what you're seeing here on the left-hand side, you see that blue? That means that it's still on the Jennifer Stewart calendar, and then I just have it assigned a color. So I'll go ahead and change this one too, and I'm just clicking, doing the edit, and going in here and changing the color. So now I have all of my personal items marked in purple, and maybe I want my administrative things to be in a certain color. So this wrap up in emails, maybe I want that to show in a yellow. What's great here is I have this as a recurring item. So when I go into this and edit, you can see I have it every weekday. So I can change it once and it will change them all. And it will ask me if I want to do this event or all events or what exactly I want to do the color coding for. 
say OK. And now all of my administrative stuff is in yellow. And then maybe you have a situation where you have a project that you're working on and you want that to show up in a specific color. You can see I have this Grady project showing up several times. So again, I can do, I'm going to do my quick right click and we'll make the Grady project orange. And I can very quickly go through here. And so you can see the type of thing that you might want to do. Maybe these meetings with Bob, maybe Bob's a client, and I could put those in the green. So you can see you start to get that rainbow pretty quickly. And as I said at the beginning of the video, some of you may get overwhelmed by too many colors. And so you just want to pick two or three. And that way, and you can always leave things. You can see I have the daily huddle and some of these other meetings left in the blue. That's the natural color for the calendar. And that's no problem. You can absolutely do that. Maybe that color means something specific to you as well. But you, you can do as little or as much as you want. If you just want a few things to stand out, you could color code those. Or if you're like me and you like to see a rainbow, you could do something like this. So that's one way to color code your calendar. Are you learning something new from this video and you'd like to see more videos? If so, you can click the subscribe button that's below this video. Once you do that, you'll see a bell icon. If you click the bell icon, then you will receive notifications each time a new video is posted. Another way is to have several calendars. And you can do that by going over here where it says other calendars, you should see a plus sign, click the plus sign and create new calendar. And so this calendar can be whatever you want. Maybe that one under your name is tied to your work. And so we'll have that be the work calendar inherently. And so then this is going to be my personal calendar. I can create that calendar. I can even choose to share that with my family and friends if I want to. And then we can go back. And now it takes it a second, but it shows up. Now, I don't like that color at all. That's just not something that I love. So I'm going to go in here like we talked about before, and I'm going to make my personal calendar purple. And then automatically everything will show up in purple on that. I can even choose to take my main calendar that I'm looking at now and I could pull these items and change the calendar that they live on. So I can go here, the calendar they live on is right here in the middle, and I could change that over to personal. I could save that, and you can see that blue mark went away, and I don't see a purple mark because I already had it marked as purple and the, the calendar is purple. So that all went together to make it fully purple. And so I can do that on each of these. Now this one, you will have to go in and edit to make the change, but we can move these items over. We'll just do this real quick so you can see this in action. Move those over to personal. Now what I have the option to do is I can uncheck my personal calendar and those things will disappear from my calendar. So if I have people looking at my calendar frequently and I don't want them to see my personal items, you can absolutely do it this way. So I could have a personal calendar. Another way to use this might be to create an ideal schedule calendar. And that way you can build it the way that you would like your ideal schedule to be. And as you get closer and closer to that, you can turn that on and off to see how things are going. So let's do a quick version of this. Okay, and once I've created that ideal schedule, I can again change that to whatever color I want. I'm going to make that cherry blossoms so that it sticks out. And I'm going to work on just the ideal schedule. So if I want to do that, I can turn everything else off. And I can even take, take these other items off if I want to. And I, now anything that I put on the calendar will be just in the ideal schedule. And so let's go ahead and put that I want a morning routine up here and I want that to be every day. So I can go here to change that to repeat daily. And let's say I want an evening routine. And again, I can do the same thing. And then perhaps I want to schedule in some family time, dinner and family time. So I could put that in here. 
And so you can see that you can start to build this however you want. If there's certain times that you want to work with clients, if you want to check email at a certain time each day, there's lots of different things you can put in here to build your ideal schedule or your ideal routine. And so then what you can do is when you turn any or all of these other calendars back on, then you can see the pink and see how things are matching up against that. So you can see my dinner and family time. I have some date night there, dinner and a show follow, falls in that dinner and family time. So I do have some things that are starting to fall within my ideal schedule. This is a great way that you can use the color coding in the calendars and using separate calendars. And then again, I can take it off and see my regular items. Hopefully this gives you some good insight into how to color code in Google Calendar. And again, the ways you might use this are numerous. You can use this for organizing your calendar, looking at a glance to see what's coming up. The way this can keep you organized is if you see that there is a prospect meeting coming up because it's in red or some other color, then you can make sure that you grab the right items to go to that meeting. You can also see if your day or your week is balanced, such as making sure you have time for family and friends, as well as getting the different things in your job done. Good luck using the color coding and I hope you enjoy it. If you still feel like you need help with this or any other tech challenge, you can schedule a tech stress breakthrough call with me. You can do that by clicking the heart in the monitor that's above me now, or you can go to my website, which is gatewayproductivity.com and click on the Let's Talk button to schedule your time. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.